anticipation that gets me. Yeah. Because I was like. What's going on YouTube? With the short tunnels being all the craze these days, skidoo has been doing it for a couple years now and Polaris is just now getting on board with it. My question was, can I remove the snow flap and gain most of the benefits of a short tunnel? Well, today is the day we find that out. I searched on YouTube with no luck, uh, so, I'm gonna be the guinea pig and try this out. Now the first thing that you're gonna need to do is remove the two rivets that hold the tail light on and flip that tail light up and over to gain access to the seven rivets that hold the snow flap on. Remove those and you're three quarters of the way done. Now at this point, I went to Home Depot to get 20 millimeter long M4 screws and nuts to reinstall the tail light for the time being. We're not gonna install rivets because we would just have to remove those again once we want to install the removable snow flap. Now that we have the snow flap removed and the tail light reinstalled, the only thing left to do is to test this theory out. So my brother and I are gonna load these sleds up and head to Big Lake, Alaska, where we will have a seven mile trail ride into a swamp where we will play all day and find out if this works or not. I am going to run with the scratchers down to prevent any overheating the best I can. However, if I do run into overheating issues, my brother and I will just stop alongside the trail and wait for the machine to cool down. All right, as you can see, we made it out to the swamp. I don't know what happened to my GoPro footage when I imported it to my computer, but some of the files from the beginning of the day were corrupt, so we missed out on the trail ride in. Anyways, this is from toward the end of the day, but I wanted to show the abuse that I was trying to put this machine through uh, just to try and get it to overheat. I did find the sled to be a lot more playful and it seemed to pick up the skis a little easier. I do have the limiter strap as tight as it goes, mainly because I wanted to feel the difference just from what the snow flap would do. And honestly, with the limiter strap as tight as it goes and the snow flap on the skis hardly ever get lifted off the snow but with the snow flap removed I was able to bring up the skis uh, easier I wouldn't say I was able to wheelie it or anything like that also remember that this is a 600 and not the 850 to be honest I feel like the 600 is underrated and undersold I've been super impressed with the way this thing performs the entire season. I felt like it was way more nimble and it even had an easier time climbing out of trenches and that has a lot to do with being able to pick the skis up and out of the snow to get on top. Oh, yep, this is where I hurt my knee. I don't know what happened, but I hit something underneath the snow and tweaked my knee the wrong way and it hurt pretty bad. This is where I ended up icing my knee for a few minutes. There you go.
probably the worst flatlight I've ever ridden in. Plus I only had one bar of fuel, so we decided to head back. On the trail I stayed between 35 and 40 miles an hour. The hottest the sled got was 130 degrees. It was climbing pretty fast, but I was only 100 yards away from the truck, so I wasn't too worried. Conclusion, if you don't have a long trail ride to your riding zone, I think this is a great no cost option, or I should say low cost. I think it cost me $2.46 for the two bolts and two nuts, um, but it's a great option to get the benefits of a short tunnel. I will say if you have a longer than seven mile trail ride to your riding zone, I think that's the cutoff where you will need a removable snow flap. We're going to put one on this machine during preseason maintenance next season. All right, now for some explaining. I know I haven't posted in a couple weeks, and this is why. My fiance owns a business, and we are remodeling, which is taking up a lot of my personal time where I would be making these videos. But we made a good amount of progress, so I should be able to get back on track. I just felt like I needed to explain myself and give you a little bit of behind the scenes on what's going on in my life. I don't know if you guys really care about that, but until next time, go ahead and explore beyond the horizon. Peace.